Here we have two X chromosomes, each with a different allele that corresponds to a cat fur color. X little b codes to the yellow fur phenotype. X big b codes to the black fur phenotype. The allele for fur color is passed on to the progeny on the X chromosome. Let's look at another trait in cats, hair length. Long hair, big H, is dominant to short hair, little h. These alleles do not demonstrate X-linked inheritance since they are not linked to the X chromosome. Now what would happen if we crossed a long-haired, black fur male with a short-haired, yellow furred female? Here I have drawn pennant squares for the hair length cross and the hair color cross. The female has a 100% chance of passing on X little b, and the male has a 50% chance of passing on a Y, and a 50% chance of passing on an X big B. Next, the short-haired female has a 100% chance of passing on a small h. The male heterozygous for long hair has a 50% chance of passing on a big h and a 50% chance of passing on a small h. To see all the different progeny possible from this cross, I have drawn a branch diagram from the pennant squares we did. The progeny have a 1 4 chance of being a male with yellow long fur and a 1 4 chance of being a male with yellow short fur, but here is where X-linked inheritance seemingly throws you a curveball. The final possible progeny combinations are a one-fourth chance of being a female with long fur and a one-fourth chance of being a female with short fur, and both will have tortoise shell fur. But why is that? It seems odd. The female progeny will have tortoise shell fur, which is both black and yellow, instead of just showing the dominant allele like usual for a heterozygous genotype. Let's zoom in to a very simplified view of the tortoise shell cat cells to further explore. Each cell for the tortoise shell cat cat contains one X chromosome with a big B allele and one X chromosome with a little b allele. Recall that males only have one X chromosome and females have two. For an X-linked gene, males always express the phenotype on the X chromosome they possess. In females, this is more complicated. To avoid overexpression of one of their X chromosomes, one is randomly inactivated in each cell during their development. This is why the tortoiseshell cat appears to be expressing both alleles. Homozygous females also go through this inactivation process, however, it is not as visible since both alleles are the same. This inactivation is known as the Leon hypothesis. The inactivated chromosome is called a bar body, and the genes on this X chromosome are no longer expressed in that particular cell. Due to Leonization being completely random in each cell, a mosaic pattern in the fur of a tortoiseshell cat is created. This is also the reason that if you clone a tortoiseshell cat, their clone would not look the exact same as the parent. They would have the same genotype, X little b, X big b, however their phenotypes, or fur pattern, would be different, since leonization is completely random in each cell. Although it is not as visually obvious as when you look at the fur of a tortoiseshell cat, the mosaic pattern created by leonization occurs in all cells that have two or more X chromosomes. Again, since leonization occurs in cells with two X chromosomes, we know that any tortoiseshell cat we are looking at is a female.